In the last video of this request granted 5 parter, I isolated the free runner and the building so we can easily see our painting effects, and now we are ready to add in our paint elements. I did a few things ahead of time which include changing color balance, brightness and contrast, so the colors stand out more and the paint effects will blend in better. First go to Google and type in paint splatter or paint splatter PNG and make sure the sizes you are looking for are large, 1024 by 768 or bigger. I found this picture, which I feel is appropriate for his shoe, and I'm going to put it in there to show you what I mean. But first what I want to do is isolate the image. So I'm going to invert it. I'm going to grab the magic wand tool, set the tolerance to 5 for this, and just click right outside the area, and it pretty much selects everything. Now right click, do select inverse. Then go to Edit, Fill, and use foreground color is fine because I want to make it black. Press OK. Now that it's all filled up, I want to make this into a mask. So I right click on my background layer and say Layer from Background. And then click the little button, New Layer, Add Layer Mask. There we go, we're ready to move this over. Click and drag it over to the Freerunner image. Press OK. It's a little big. It also went inside the free runner layer, which we don't want right now, but we will want it later. So we want to put it below the free runner layer. Now we want to transform it. So Command or Control T, press and hold Shift to make it smaller. and then rotate it so it f is more easily seen. Now I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical, Transform it again so it fits in nicely. That's pretty good. Press Enter. Now I want to get rid of this area that's kind of plopping out because I don't really like how it looks. Just grab the eraser tool and just take away from it. That looks pretty cool. It looks like it's kind of coming out of the bottom of his shoe. Now I want you to duplicate this layer and put it above the layer mask. Link the two together. Press and hold command on the other layer and press this little link button. Then with the top spatter layer selected, click FX press color overlay and you can change the color to anything you want. You can see that it creates this really interesting effect right up here. And you can move it around anywhere you want and it will have that really cool effect. For now I'm going to keep it right here and I'm going to get rid of this part of the mask because I don't want it there. But it adds a little subtle interesting effect right down at the bottom. So you can add it here, and you can add it to other areas of the image to make it look more interesting. And you can do all kinds of things with it that's really based on your creativity. So in the next one, I'm going to show you where to find custom paint spatter brush templates and how you can apply them to this image to make it look really cool.